Hey everyone, this is Joe over at Synergy17 and um, today I'm going to go over one more revision of the laser alignment system that you can make for yourself. Um, if you recall, the one I did not too long ago was this guy here. Um, it's a little bit bigger switch, uh, sorry, a little bit bigger uh, USB hub and uh, has the power and everything on it, had the switches. But um, someone asked me if I could make one smaller and I thought I'll give it a try. So what I did was I the main thing is I wanted to have separate switches on the USB and that's the hard part to find sometimes. So I found another one and I came up with this little tiny guy. It's only about uh, I don't know four inches by three inches maybe. So it's really really tiny, separate switches. And uh, what's cool about this one is uh, well one thing is you notice that the cables hang coming out the side here. And I just have it tucked in here just for storage reasons so it's not hanging out. Um, but this is what's pretty cool. I could open it up and I can keep all of my parts in here. So it kind of makes it portable. So here's a laser, here's the power, here's an extension cable if you need it. And this is also the plug in. Um, one thing I did is to hold this in place so it doesn't fall out when you push the buttons is I put a little uh, brace in here and the reason I didn't glue it is because let's say for example you build this and your button breaks or let's say this this board went bad or some something happened this allows you to pop the piece out here and you can take it out and go get another one and put it in there so that makes it actually pretty cool that you can replace things really quick. And then, as like I said, this is the bracket here. And this goes inside here. And what I use is I use a little screwdriver or something just to put in here to push the wood up just so I can close the. So, anyways, now that this is closed, uh, it's ready to use. So, let's plug all this in real quick. So, as you can see right here, when I push the buttons, the lights come on, so that way I know there's power to that each port. So, on this first version I did over here, I used a much longer USB, uh, sorry, uh, laser. This is, I think, about 16 inches or so. Um, what I decided to do was cut one down, just to see how well it works. So, since I was trying to make it tiny, I made a much smaller one. Um, both of these do still work in the small unit. So you just basically plug this in here, point this down, power it on, and you have your laser here. So you can use this for horizontal, uh, you can use it for vertical, uh, whatever you decide to do. And what's pretty cool about this is if you if you wanted to, you could still uh, use the longer one. I think somewhere in between, this one's a little bit small and this one's a little bit too long, but I could uh, get one made so it's a little bit uh, somewhere in the middle. So anyways, there's your lasers. Um, you can line that up. The small one works pretty good. So anyways, I just want to show you another version. The last thing you need is a, a, some type of an alignment paper. You can uh, print something else out or use something in the corner here to get uh, your beam straight across and all you do is twist this to uh, align it. So really easy. I think it's pretty cool. Um, you can make your own. Like I said, I'd make this one shorter, uh, maybe a little bit longer, somewhere in between these two lengths. Power it off here. Take everything apart and stick it back as a storage case inside here. So that's the next little uh, revision of it. Um, still, I, I like this one but uh, for stability and stuff, but this one's pretty cool because you uh, being able to pop this out, maybe I'll make a bracket for this one. So anyways, let me know what you think about these things. Um, let me know what you'd like to see. If um, you want any other features, uh, what's actually pretty cool is you could still plug in a light here. So not only would you use this for your laser, but you can swap this out and put your light there. Um, I thought about making it so you can charge your phone. Um, 
I mean, it's just a USB hub. You can use it for lots of things. So, anyways.